Hello everyone. I welcome you all to this lesson. Today I am going to discuss on the topic Oliver asks for more. And in this lesson I will be discussing 40 MCQs. Hope it will be helpful for you. So children let us start. And before that let me ask you. Have you subscribed to my channel? If you have not subscribed up till now then please do. And watch the video till end. And press the like button if you have liked it. So children, let us start this topic. In previous video, I have given you the video of summary, the significance of title, theme, etc. Hope that must that might have helped you in your studies. So children, let us start with this video. And you all also take out your pencil and pen and start marking on some sheet of paper. So my first question is, what was the building called where poor people with no money and nowhere to live resided? And the options are A. Hospital B. Orphanage C. Workhouse D. Prison and the correct answer is C. Workhouse. Question number 2. Where was Oliver Twist born? And the options are A. Hospital B. Orphanage C. Workhouse D. Prison And the correct answer is C. Workhouse. Question number 3. What did Oliver's mother wish to do? before dying and the options are a see her child b talk to the doctor c leave the workhouse d get married and the correct option is a see her child question number four who tries to reassure oliver's mother and advises her not to talk about dying and the options are a the doctor b oliver c the old women d mr bumble and the correct option is c the old woman question number five what was doctor's observation about oliver's mother and the options are a she was rich. B. She was ugly. C. She was a doctor. D. She was married. And the correct option is D. She was married. Question number 6. What does that doctor do before leaving? And the options are A. Gives medicine to Oliver's mother, B. Takes the baby, C. Put some, put some his hats and gloves, D. Cleans the room and the correct option is C. Put on his hats and gloves. Question number 7. Who takes the responsibility for dressing the baby Oliver and the options are A. The doctor B. Oliver's mother C. The old woman D. Mr. Bumble and the correct option is C. The old woman. Question number 8. What name did Mr. Bumble assign to the baby? And the options are A. Oliver Twist B. Swivel, C. Unwind, D. Twist, Oliver. And the correct option is A. Oliver, Twist. Question number 9. And the option is, How old is baby when he is described as a pale thin child? And the options are, A. 6 years, B. 9 years, C. 12 years. D. 15 years. 
and the correct option is B. Nine years. Question number ten, and the question is, what are the workhouse boys given to eat? And the options are A. Three meals of thin soup every day. B. Roast chicken and bread. C. Pizza and ice creams. D. Burger and fries. And the correct option is A. Three meals of thin soup every day. Question number eleven. With what do the boys use to clean their bowls? And the options are A. Soup, soap and water. B. Their spoons. C. Paper towels. D. Dish wash washing liquid. And the correct option is B. Their spoons. Question number twelve. Who is chosen? To ask the master for more soup, and the options are A. Oliver Twist, B. Mr. Bumble, C. The doctor, D. The old woman, and the correct option is A. Oliver Twist. Hope children, you are also getting them all right, and you have studied the lesson well. Okay. Now let us move to question number thirteen, and the question is, how does the master react when Oliver asks for more soup? And the option is A, he gives him more soup. B, he laughs and walks away. C, he hits Oliver with a spoon. D, he asks for help from Mr. Bumble. And the correct option is C. He hits Oliver with a spoon. Question number fourteen. What punishment does Oliver receive for asking for more soup? And the options are A. He is given extra soup. B. He is praised by Mr. Bumble. C. He is locked. In a dark room, D. He is awarded money, and the correct option is C. He is locked in a dark room. Question number fifteen: Who meets Mr. Bumble outside the workhouse gate? And the options are A. Oliver's mother, B. Mr. Sowerberry, C. The doctor, D. The old woman, and the correct option is B. Mr. Soverberry. Question number sixteen, and the question is, what does Mr. Soverberry do for his living? And the options are A. He is a doctor. B. He is a teacher. C. He makes coffins. D. He is a farmer. And the correct option is C. He makes coffins. Question number seventeen. What does Mr. Bumble ask Soberberry about it? And the options are A. Money. B. Coffins. C. Oliver Twist. D. The workhouse gate notice. And the correct option is D. The workhouse gate notice. Question number eighteen. What is the reward offered to taking Oliver Twist? And the options are A. Ten pounds. B. Five pounds. C. A job at the workhouse. D. A free coffin. And the correct option is B. Five pounds. Question number nineteen, and the question is, what does the workhouse symbolize in the story? And the options are A, hope and salvation; B, wealth and prosperity; C, poverty and despair; D, 
फैमिली एंड कम्युनिटी एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज सी पोवर्टी एंड डिस्पेयर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वॉट डज ऑलिवर्स बर्थ इन द वर्क हाउस सिग्निफाई एंड द ऑप्शन आर ए अ न्यू बिगनिंग बी इन जस्टिस एंड इन इक्वालिटी सी होपलेसनेस एंड अबेंडनमेंट डी जॉय एंड सेलिब्रेशन एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज सी होपलेसनेस एंड अबेंडनमेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन हाउ डज द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ ऑलिवर एंड अदर वर्क हाउस बॉयज रिफ्लेक्ट सोशियटल एटीट्यूड्स टूवर्ड्स पोवर्टी एंड द ऑप्शन आर ए कंपैशन एंड सपोर्ट बी इन डिफरेंस एंड नेग्लेक्ट सी फेयरनेस एंड इक्वालिटी डी एम्पैथी एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज बी इन डिफरेंस एंड नेग्लेक्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू वॉट डज द इंसिडेंट ऑफ ऑलिवर आस्किंग फॉर मोर सूप रिवील अबाउट द वर्क हाउस सिस्टम एंड द ऑप्शन आर ए इट्स इफेक्टिवनेस इन मीटिंग द नीड्स ऑफ चिल्ड्रेन बी द जेनरोसिटी ऑफ द अथॉरिटीज इन प्रोवाइडिंग फॉर द चिल्ड्रेन सी द हार्शनेस एंड इन सफिशियंसी इन द प्रोविजन्स डी द ऑर्डरली एंड डिसिप्लिन नेचर ऑफ द वर्क हाउस एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज सी द हार्शनेस एंड इन सफिशियंसी इन प्रोविजन्स क्वेश्चन नंबर How does Mr Bumble's response to Oliver's request for more soup reflect the theme of power and authority and the options are A abuse of power and cruelty B fairness and justice C collaborations and cooperations D incompetence and negligence and the correct option is a abuse of power and cruelty question number 24 what does oliver's confinement in the dark room symbolize in terms of journey and the options are a isolation and loneliness b transformation and confinement c punishment and operations d enlightenment and knowledge and the correct option is c punishment and operations now children i move towards question number 25 and the question is how does mr bumble's interaction With Mr Sober Berries highlight the theme of opportunism and the options are A Mr Bumble's desire for financial gain B Mr Sober Berry greed for power C collaborations of mutual benefits D generosity and selflessness and the correct option is A Mr Bumble's desire for financial gain Question number 26 What does the notice on the workhouse gate symbolize in relation to Oliver's fate and the options are A hope for a better life B a chance for escape C rejection and abandonment D a path to redemption and the correct option is c rejection and abandonment question number 27 how does oliver's experience in the workhouse reflect the theme of social injustice and the options are 
A. Equal opportunities for all. B. Meritocracy and upward mobility. C. Discrimination based on social class. D. Social harmony and cooperation. And the correct option is C. Discrimination based on social class. Question number 28. Mr. Bumble, how does Oliver's name given by Mr. Bumble relate to his character and journey? And the options are A. It represents his desire for change and adventure. B. It reflects his ability to twist the situation in his favor. C. It symbolizes his desire for dignity and struggle against societal norms. D. It signifies his affinity. And the correct option is C. It symbolizes his desire for dignity and struggle against societal norms. Question number 29. And the question is, who was Mr. Bumble? And the options are A. Mr. Brownlow's brother. B. A teacher. C. An important officer in the workhouse. D. A doctor in London. And the correct option is C. An important officer in the workhouse. Question number 30. And the question is, what is the name of the protagonist in the novel? And the options are A. Oliver Twist B. Charles Dickens C. Mr. Bumble D. Fagin And the correct option is A. Oliver Twist Question number 31. What request does Oliver make with which surprises all the staff of the workhouse? And the options are A. More food B. More clothes C. More money D. More time outside And the correct option is A. More food Question number 32 And the question is Where is Oliver sent after his request for more food? And the options are A. Jail B. An apprenticeship C. A prison D. A school And the correct option is B. An apprenticeship Question number 33 Who is the cruel master Oliver is sent to work for? And the options are A. Mr. Bumble B. Mr. Sowerberry C. Fagin D. Nancy And the correct option is B. Mr. Soverberry Question number 34 And the question is What happens when Oliver returns to the workhouse after running away? And the options are A. He is punished B. He is rewarded D. He is sent to live with a kind family. D. He is given another chance. And the correct option is A. He is punished. Question number 35. Oliver Twist novel was written by A. Charles Dickens B. Charles Taylor C. Charles Shobaraj and the correct option is A. Charles Dickens Question number 36 The child who has nobody in the world is called Tash And the options are A. Rich B. Orphan C. Lucky D. Unlucky And the correct option is B. Orphan Question number 37 Who is looking after the orphan boys? And the options are A. NGO 
B. Government C. The Parish D. People And the correct option is C. The Parish Question number 38 Did Oliver understand the meaning of orphan? And the options are A. Can't say B. Yes C. Maybe D. No And the correct option is B. Yes Question number 39 what is the name of Mr. Beadle? And the options are A. Dore B. Dumble C. Joe Bumble D. Mr. Bumble And the correct option is D. Mr. Bumble Question number 40 And children, this is my last question. And the question is, who is Mr. Soberberry? And the options are A. A beadle B. A lawyer C. The coffin maker D. A chimney key sweeper And the correct option is C. The coffin maker So children, in this lesson, I have discussed 40 MCQs. Hope it will help you in your studies. And again, I am coming up with another set of MCQs for you all. So that you are well versed with the chapter, with the subject and come out with flying colors. So children, do subscribe my channel, do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.